Like the new rescue plan may need a rescue itself. A group of House Republicans now pushing an amendment to gut the $700 billion bailout all the way down to $250 billion. Arizona Republican Trent Franks thinks it's a good idea, a congressman. Um, that would mean getting other people who had seen that whittle down to 250 on board because they wouldn't want it whittled down, right? And then this is not moving forward. Well, Neil, we have even a greater challenge than that. This uh, Congress, as you know, is controlled by Democrats. And this is uh, something that would have to pass through as an amendment through the Rules Committee. Right. And I'm not sure that we're going to get any favorable response there from the Democrat leadership. All right. So it's a non-starter. It's a good effort on your part, but a non-starter. So if you had to handicap right now, Congressman, where does it stand? Talking about the overall bill or the amendment, I think the amendment the faces bill. an The amendment, yeah. with all due respect, sir, is going nowhere. But yes, sir, that's, right, that's so, correct. So with the overall bill. The overall bill, I think, at this point, probably is on track for passage. Uh, now, really? I, Do you uh, know of, who's who's been switching, Democrats or Republicans? I think some of both. Hmm. Uh, as it happens, I think the bill is better than when it started. And it might sound kind of contradictory here. It may even sound political, Neil. But the fact is that originally, uh, when John McCain came to town, he empowered House Republicans to push back on some of the uh, more onerous provisions of this. And we were able to, to get some things in this bill as a result that I think not only justifies our no vote the first time, but I think it also points to a great uh, uh, leadership on John McCain's part that he probably will not get credit for because people will say, well, the re a lot of the Republicans voted no anyway. Well, what, so what, about, you, what about you, Congressman? Are you going to vote yay or nay as this bill stands now? Uh, as it stands now, Neil, I'm afraid I'm a no vote. Wow. All right. Uh, you were no vote originally, right? Yes, sir, I was. Do you know how many of your colleagues, sir, who were no votes are now yay votes? I think there are uh, some additional ones, even from Arizona, that will probably be yay votes. Really? Uh, there are two kinds of people that predict the future, Neil, those who don't know and those who don't know they don't know. Uh, so I'm not going to stand here and, and try to act clairvoyant and tell you who's going to vote which way, but I do believe that the, uh, the, the speaker will be paying a lot more attention to where her votes are this time than she was before. All right, now how much of what, uh, I'm sorry, sir, we're rushed your time here, but sorry, how sorry. much of, now you're obviously not ceding to it, but how much of your colleagues' change of heart, the Democrats' change of heart, was what happened to Wall Street the day this was shot down? Well, that's a good question. I, I can say to you that all of us, I believe, are, are concerned about the, the grave challenges that Wall Street faces, and I, I certainly am no different in that way. I, I want to see us do the right thing here. But there's a bigger issue, Neil, and that is that uh, I want my children to walk in the sunlight of freedom and not in the shadow of socialism. And uh, if, uh, if we make a habit of putting bailouts on the, hab on the backs of taxpayers, soon enough we will move in that socialist direction. And we have a, a litany of nations across the highway of history scattered uh, that, that tells us that that's not a good idea. And if Mr. Obama should become president, I really believe it'll be hard to stop a, a, the, the economy from being socialized in a huge way. Well, your own country. nominee, your own nominee is on board with this. I guess what I'm going to ask you, Congressman, finally is, you're not, obviously not buying onto this notion that taxpayers will make money on this. In other words, 700, 800 billion, yeah. whatever it's going to be, that they make that yeah. back when assets are sold off, and that maybe they even come out ahead. Maybe they do, but if they do, if that's true, then why won't the private sector recognize that and come to the rescue of this situation? That's what some people like hmm. myself have said for a long that's time. That's a if very this is a good, good point. That if this is, an is a good deal point. for the taxpayers, then this will be a good deal for private investors, and we won't be doing this great precedent in the long run. But I will say to you, uh, the difference between John McCain and, and uh, Barack Obama on the economy is the difference between night and day. That may sound political, but it has the advantage of being true as well. All right. Well, you got a lot of guts, Congressman, but uh, very good having you on. We'll see what happens to your amendment. I didn't mean to offend you, but I did. No, no, you didn't, didn't offend mean to me at It's all. not going anywhere, so I hate to break it to you. <laughs> but uh, uh, unfortunately, I was I was on that. Uh, I already unfortunately knew that. But you know, sometimes just sometimes trying is, is part something. of the equation.